Hello everybody, this is Bodrich. Um, a new day, a new video. Let's uh, forget about uh, the browser video and the browser stuff and everything. And let's even forget about uh, the, the Hugo page that we are building just to, you know, get into a good groove again here. Uh, I just installed, uh, like just installed this. Uh, couple of minutes ago, uh, found this random uh, GitHub repo. I don't really remember how I found it. I think it was like, uh, you know, if you go to, to github.com, then, then you will see like the activity of uh, other, yeah, people you follow or, or whatever. Maybe this is a, is, is a bit too private here, but whatever. I think I, th I saw it here, like someone had stored this repository. And this feed, by the way, uh, is uh, you can subscribe to this feed as an RSS, uh, whatever. Yeah, no, I, I, I cannot see it here, but I think that's where I saw this. It doesn't matter. Um, But this is a good good way to discover new new um, programs and, and stuff. Just uh, follow uh, people who looks uh, like they find interesting stuff, and then whatever. Monolith by Y two Z and Y two Z is is not a, a a a user. It's some organization but it's like a single person here so some something like uh, bud labs i guess i i don't know lightweight some 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 small programs here whatever monolith save html pages uh, with ease uh, unlike the conventional save page as Monolith not only saves the target document, it embeds CSS, images, JavaScript, assets all at once, producing a single HTML5 document. And as you can see, I have already tested it really quickly here. So let, let's take it from, from the start. I delete these. Uh, I delete these. And let's go to, to ArcWiki here. That's a... That's a web page, you know, a URL on, on some wiki or whatever. And then you can save page as if you would like to do that. And here I have this whatever directory open already. I save uh, Dunstark wiki. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and since Dunst the page here, it's, it, it's a really simple HTML. It's, it's more or less just text here, but you get one file, the HTML file, but then you also get all, all needed files for this uh, page here. I don't know if I open this now in the browser. It looks like this. You can see it misses some resources here, the images, but it, 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 this kind of works. Now it reads all of this uh, locally here. So I could unplug my internet connection and it I, I could still view this page and, and you know sometimes that's that's a nice thing to be able to do have have like an offline storage or maybe you just want to sometimes you know you read an article or something and you know this this would be good to just save this because who knows uh, what will happen here this article might get taken down or censored or whatever that could be a reason you know you just want to save a page but if you do that a lot then you will end up with um, not just the page you save but also all its resource files you know this weird uh, and you will get a really messy uh, uh, directory and file structure but with monolith here uh, when you save a page with monolith then it will um, uh, embed all all resources, CSS, images, and JavaScript into the HTML document itself. Uh, so let's test it here. Uh, I think I have. Did I lose it? No, here it is. You know, the bug. This is my from my repo, the Bud Labs repo from the BWP, and here we have this animated GIF and stuff. And if I save this page. Um, with monolith here. And here I am in this directory here on the command line. So I can do monolith URL and then output file here. And let's output it as uh, 
polybar bwp whatever dot html uh, now it will create a single html out of this uh, uh, page here and save it here you can see it's uh, processing it here and it takes some time now since this uh, gif here that's about seven megabytes or something and now we can see that i have a, a uh, HTML file here that's 10 megabytes large which uh, might sound a bit crazy and if we look at it it is of that uh, extreme size here and, and now you can see it, th this even takes time for, for Sublime you know 10 megabytes of text that, that's, uh, that's a lot of text to open but we can do it in Sublime, uh, and I dare you, try this in, in uh, VS Code, for example, and see how that works, you know? But Sublime should be able to do it. Uh, the reason it is that gigantic is because it have embedded uh, that uh, GIF here somewhere. I guess it's one of these uh, 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 stuff here. As base64 uh, strings we don't need to get into how those things work uh, well whatever it, it, it embedded like this is a, a ping file somewhere in, in the document fluid icon this is just a small uh, PNG icon and if you if you uh, 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 what's it called yeah, if you translate it into base64, then you can embed it, uh, even images and stuff in, into a HTML document. But you need to, to write it like this. And of course, th this is just crazy to do in, in most cases. But if you want a single HTML here now, uh, then it's, it, 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 it's kind of beautiful. Because now I can open this page here. And it should have like the GIF and ev all the resources, the page look exactly as it did when I saved it. And it works for, for like everything you would expect, you know. I, I, I just open some random pages here, I don't even know what they are. Um, yeah, this is kind of a crazy page, you know. We try this. I haven't, haven't tested this, but it should work. Monolith, base URL, another html and it also feels quite fast to download uh, just as fast as, as like a wget uh, really nice program and you can see it's all, all of these weird javascript uh, stuff but whatever opening this oops maybe not on my github page but open it here then Yeah, and this is all in contained in a single file, so you can really take snapshots, you know, and save. Uh, this is like an alternative to bookmarking a page. But this will work. Uh, this will look exactly the same if I unplug my internet connection. It doesn't. Uh, yeah, in a way, you know, you get a static website uh, version of whatever you're looking at. I also tested it on a YouTube video and that didn't of course work. So so I guess there are and yeah, you know if you just take uh, your feed on Facebook whatever, I don't suspect that to be where you, you you kind of know no no, you know. Um but this is really cool and I I I will definitely hook this up into my um uh, yeah, now I just made a video, I don't want to talk about it, so I shouldn't talk about it, but uh, I will hook it up to my own custom script inside uh, Pale Moon here, so I can just hit the key binding and save this page uh, uh, with Monolith if I if I would need to. But uh, you don't have to do that either, you could, could do it on the command line, this is not something that you do often, I, I, I guess, but there are like... Uh, some really good examples like for example the arc wiki you find a page that you just want to have uh, handy you know and then you can save the html like this uh, really cool but it is written in rust and i this is actually take two i just i i made a different uh, video uh, just before i recorded this uh, 
where where I where I did it completely from from the beginning. I haven't did. I had just opened this page and thought, yeah, let's try this. Let's make a video without even uh, try testing the, the 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 program at all. You know, and I installed the program from scratch. And it it's available, of course, in AUR like everything else. You can find it in uh, as uh, monolith dash git. Uh, that's what I installed. Monolith dash git. There it is. So I installed this, um, but you can also just uh, uh, build it from source. That 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 was what I thought I would uh, going to do. But since it was available in AUR, I did that. But you can just follow these instructions. But be aware, it's a Rust program, and it actually took ten minutes to compile this program and pull all all uh, uh, dependencies and stuff so in one way it's really bloated but who cares right you install it and then it's there and then it works and it works fine um, and it's very minimal and fast because I, I don't buy into this uh, bloated uh, uh, way of thinking about software uh, and, and stuff whatsoever um, to me, it, it doesn't really matter. Of course, if, if this would take like two hours to install and update and stuff, then maybe. But what, whatever, that's that's like completely sidetracked. Uh, for me, bloated is like if, 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 if it would take uh, a long time to execute, if it would be slow, if it would drain the whole uh, computer battery and uh, resources and stuff when you use it. But this feels really lightweight and fast and good when, when, when you are using it. And, and that's what uh, matters, uh, in my opinion. But it's, yeah, I understand if you don't really don't like Rust. And I also needed to install Rust here since this is, uh, it, it, it's only available in this package on AUR. There are no pre-built binaries and stuff for this. So you need to, to install um, Rust also and build this project. So. Be aware, it takes some time to install it. Uh, but I think it's really, really cool, and this, this is, this is great. Um, um, and there are often, you know, yeah, and, and things like this, you know, you find some random article, and I kind of like uh, to have things uh, uh, backed up and locally, uh, not just like a URL, because who knows, you know, sometimes web pages get defunct or um, articles get taken down for whatever reason. Internet changes, you know, but if you download the documents like this, then you should be able to open this whenever. Whatever. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it um, interesting and nice. And this, uh, yeah, sometimes I can do um, positive uh, things like this. So thank you um, to, to, no, that doesn't work. You should, <laughs> from Ask the NSA. Yeah, that's a good. Vincent Fleissen. Uh, because I guess uh, that's uh, the, the creator of, of the monolith uh, uh, project there. Okay, uh, next video I think we continue with the Hugo, Hugo page, Hugo project. Uh, thank you for watching everybody, have a great day.